Hi, so this is a video about um, Bohr's model of the atom. And in ninth grade, you guys learned, um, you kind of used the Bohr model. Um, and the Bohr model is no longer our accepted model of the atom, but it did lead us down the road of our current model of the atom. Um, so it's still uh, really important. Um, so um, Bohr kind of, um, he was a student of Rutherford um, and Rutherford was the one who did the gold foil experiment. I may or may not remember where he shot um, alpha particles. Now you know what those are through gold foil. And most of the alpha particles went right through the atom. And every once in a while, about one in 2000, I think, would reflect back or, or um, somehow reflect which is what the meaning was, is that the atom is mostly empty space, but that the there's a positive, dense, small nucleus. So anyways, um, Bohr is the person who started to try to explain that hydrogen spectrum that we've seen now um, with those four colors and why that is. Um, so he, um, his model, is just that the electrons can circle in orbits um, and and they can only be in one orbit or another and nowhere in between um, and it's kind of the analogy would be like a ladder um, if you were climbing a ladder um, you could only be on one rung or another you can't just suspend in between so um and the ladder like if you use that analogy with the atom the nucleus would be the bottom, and then you can see this would kind of be the levels going around. So it's sometimes they draw it without the circles, just the, you know, the, the levels going up. And you can see that the levels are not necessarily equal in space, which means energetically they're different. Um, and you saw these levels kind of drawn in your pogol too. So um, the energy levels are quantized, so the electron can only be like here or here, nowhere in between. Um, here's another, not the best image, but kind of trying to show you that an electron, like this would be an electron going from n equals four, maybe to um, n equals three, but it can never be here, like at n equals 3.6. It has to be in one spot or another. And that's what it means to be quantized. Um, so, when atoms are given energy, they absorb that energy and they go to a higher energy level. Um, and we say that those um, that this is quantized, which means that the electron can go from one level to another, um, but it cannot go like in a continuous step. So absorption and emission, we saw this with the flame tests and with the spectroscopes. Um, we input energy in the form of a photon. And that photon is, remember, it's a, it's a piece of electromagnetic radiation. And that, remember how I had the little hiker guy? The photon is the particle of, of light or any type of electromagnetic. And then it carries a quantum of energy. And the quantum of energy. If we wanted to, we could calculate it. We won't, um, but it's a piece of energy. Um, so energy has to go in, the photon goes in. So sometimes I draw the photon like a stream of, um, you know, particles, not as a wave coming in. The electron will absorb that energy and become excited, move to a higher level. Um, and then, you know, let's say it moved out here. So you can see better. Um, this would be the third energy level. And then let's, what it wants to do, remember the nucleus is positive and the electron is negative and that is a big attraction. So the electron will temporarily come out here. And sometimes I put a little dotted because it's just temporarily excited, but then it wants to return back to ground state. And that's when it undergoes emission. So absorption is the photon with a certain amount of energy specific to that energy level jump that's gonna be absorbed by the electron. 
then the electron returns back to ground state and it gives that energy back it, it emits it it's emission and the bigger the jump the higher the frequency of the energy um, and sometimes we can see that if it's within our visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum we get to see the color come back the energy that's emitted come as a color